looking at example 2, section 4.1. So this is uh, constant multiples multiplied by functions. Basically, this is just a little bit of an extension of the power rule. What do you do when you have a number in front of the function? So for 2a, we have the function we're looking at is f of x equals 4x to the third power. So really, all this is saying is that if I want to take the derivative of this, um, I basically just do the same thing that I did with the regular power rule. But if there's a, since there's a number in front, I'm just going to multiply this. So I put this, move the 3 in front, multiply it by the 4. I'm going to get 12x to the third power of the derivative of that one. Similar for part b. We've got um, a function y is equal to negative 4 fifths x to the sixth. And again, use the power rule here with the constant multiple that we have there. And again, this is Leibniz notation. Since the function was defined as y, we, we say the derivative is dy dx. And if I put the 6 in front there, I'm going to get 24. Uh, it's negative, so negative 24 over 5 uh, x to the fifth power. So lower the power by 1. Put the exponent in the front and multiply it by the number that's already there. Okay, for part c then, um, this is just a, a bit of a different notation here, but it means the same thing. It just means take the derivative of the thing that's within the brackets there. So we've got 2 over uh, the cube root of t. Now remember that um, what we'll want to do here is first write this as a power function. Since it's in the denominator, um, I can move it to the numerator and change the sign of the exponent. And since it's a cube root, that's a one-third power. So I can rewrite this function as 2t to the negative one-third power. Again, the negative because it's in the denominator, the one-third because it's a cube root. Okay, now it's a power function. And remember that this d sub t thing here is just saying that whatever's in the brackets after it, I want to take the derivative of it. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to use the power rule, put the negative one-third in front, multiply it by the two. That's going to give me negative two-thirds t. And then I have to lower that power by one. So it's a fraction, so minus one-third minus one. It's the same as minus one-third minus three-thirds, so that's negative four-thirds of the power. And again, if I wanted to write this as a, something with roots and powers as the final answer, I, since it's a negative there, I can write it as um, negative 2 over 3t to the positive 4 thirds power. And if I wanted to take that further, again, this is not 100% necessary to do this, but, you know, for a little bit of practice. Uh, it's a cube. The 3 in the denominator means it's a cube root. The 4 in the numerator means it's to the fourth power. So if I want to write this with roots and powers, it's the cube root of t to the fourth power. So there's the derivatives of uh, all the functions in example two for or using the power rule with uh, coefficients.